first out, there were some exciting announcements on uh, the MMS conference. It may not be, have been a record um, sell, but if I go ahead and share my screen here, there we are. You can see that MMS in May is officially sold out. So congrats to the MMS organizations. Fantastic as usual. And I'm looking forward to see you guys in May, all of you. Now, if you didn't get a ticket, don't despair. There is a moment to uh, or still uh, options to join MMS in Fort Lauderdale, the Flamingo edition of MMS in, in October. Uh, Three-day conference, but it is great content. I attended the one in Miami last year, uh, absolute fantastic event. Uh, cannot recommend it enough. It's a, it's a great conference. And as rumors have it, I will be there as well uh, this year. So. Two conferences, they are spoiling me, which is, uh, of course, nice. Let's see where we are in the chat at the moment. Just keeping an eye on that one. I've been so spoiled having Andrew as a co-host for a good while. I almost forgot <laughs> what to do when running it all by myself here, but I should be able to get back on track, I think. There we are. Now, other news that has been circling um, as of late has been uh, the technical AMA on Cloud PKI that you may have seen. I'll pull that link up. That was going on uh, earlier today. So if you haven't had a chance to catch that one, you can always catch up with the recording. And what I like about these AMAs is that usually the team is pretty good in responding to comments that are coming in even after the event has ended. Not necessarily weeks or months to come, but usually for, for a good while after the, uh, a few hours after the event has ended. So if you haven't seen this one, highly recommend to do it. We had Richard here on the show just uh, a little while ago, and um, two weeks ago, in fact, uh, sharing some of his findings uh, on this topic. And speaking of that gentleman, I believe he recently shared a blog post on his findings. Let's see if I can look at that one real quick. So that... Um, tweet flashing by earlier. Yeah, here we are. It was this one here. So it was published a little while ago. I didn't notice it, but I uh, highly recommend uh, taking a look at, at that one and see if there are any more recent posts. Yeah, this one as well. All right. Goodness there. I did notice that our friends over at Patch My PC have a upcoming webinar um, on the 27th, uh, same day as we're running our uh, graph course here on the Academy. So hoping they won't conflict too much, but I really like the topic. Uh, as many of you have seen, Patch My PC has gone in and helped out the PS App Deploy Toolkit uh, folks with additional development resources and whatnot. And I'm going to share some of that information uh, on this webinar. So that is fantastic news. Shameless plug, or not so shameless, because it's one of our community courses. It's absolutely free to attend. But you might have seen that we announced the 
uh, in tune um, automation using Microsoft Graph mini course of that same date, March 27, and Miss and Andrew Johnson that will be spending an hour and a half um, sharing our tips and tricks on automating what you have in Intune. The price for this one is, of course, like all other mini courses on the Academy, just right. It is free. So simply sign up and uh, we'll take you through a, a bit of Microsoft Graph there. Let's see what else did I note down? Oh, yeah. We, I think we, we, I think Andrew mentioned this last week, but just to give you a friendly reminder, uh, we have the uh, Windows Service Summit that is coming up, and it did not like that link. Let's try again. How hard can it be? Copy paste. Much better. Live in five days. So three days. A lot of uh, sessions regarding Windows Server 2025. So even though that may be not your uh, absolute focus area uh, when working with Intune and ConfigMan and other things, I do recommend to keep an eye on it because uh, the likelihood that you will stumble across this operating system is uh, pretty high, put it that way. 